Hey, what's going on? Xrit here. Welcome to another commentary video. Uh, in this one, I'm covering the Workshop 20 Plus. Uh, it's the second week of Season 4 Shadowlands. And it's the 45th week. So I'll be choosing versatility, as you may know, for more survivability. And also, I'm uh, running uh, Venthyr Covenant in this dungeon because. Uh, I just decided to have more unburst healing without using any CD, so that might help a lot. So in the first pack, there's two casters that cast detonate cast that must be interrupted. But we don't interrupt them here, so I have to heal. That's another one. These should be interrupted, but as I'm healing, I can't interrupt any. I'm more focused on healing, but my teammates didn't interrupt the cast. We gotta dodge these fire rockets. As well as the wheelies. So... There's a trick on this boss that you can stand where I'm standing right now and all of the melee deities must stack up too and what this does is to make the boss charge into the wall behind me and this lamp uh, also deals damage to the boss it helps you with damage I'm use bloodlust here we're gonna nuke him down So as a Restoration Shaman, you gotta save uh, a healing CD for each phase of Vent Jets, so you can heal party. In uh, higher keys like 23, 23 or 24 plus or anything higher than that, uh, all the deities or at least one of them must uh, save a strong defensive CD for each phase of the Jets because it's pretty unhealable if you have to heal everyone without any CDs so I used my defensive Warlock also did that as you can see if uh, at least two people use their defensives uh, there won't be any problem in uh, healing. And once you kill the first boss, uh, this one is just a dummy. All you need to worry about is to dodge the whirlwind. And since you're a Resto Shaman, you're not even close to the boss, so... There we go. So there's an Athrazim here and a vase processing unit. You gotta dodge the frontal and there's a there's something that gets tricky here and it's the purple thingy under the ground that I uh, that put me to sleep you can't see it but it's actually a bug can you see it I, I believe this should be fixed but anyway be careful on that Make a drill, you gotta run out.
All right, uh, you got a line of sight, the uh, red ooze, whenever they're trying to burst. Dispelling tank. The robot dog here just puts a random debuff that should be dispelled ASAP. And there's nothing else to worry about. Dispelling hunter. all frontals and yeah Mike dispelled himself so I dispelled the warlock since he got enough uh, healing received from me I didn't dispel him and didn't waste my global as you saw so our hunter died, uh, I believe, because of uh, the green ooze. Maybe? I didn't notice. So we're killing the big guy here, Zul Gam Gamax. Uh, because we need extra percentage of versatility to have uh, less damage taken on the boss. Dispelling Hunter. Since I dispelled the Hunter, uh, I don't have Dispel for the tank, so this might be the phase that you got to heal start a spam healing tank and there you go also as a rest of shaman as you may know you can hex the bat, uh, the bat that is casting and dispel your tank on two or three stacks of this So dodge the box, falling from the sky, dispel tank ASAP, and you can go behind the box. There's also a trick here, you can even cast through the LOS if you stand like on the top of edge of the box, kinda, and you can still start casting. But it's a bit dangerous, I don't recommend you to do this on, in hierarchies or like tyrannicals. Just, there's a chance that you might get one shot, so it's not something you might be able to do. Dispelling tank. Look. <laughs> Monk died. That's a risky thing to do. Dispel tank ASAP. That dot deals insane damage, so you gotta dispel it as soon as you can. And make sure to have at least 10 yards range with the boxes when you get the uh, leap spell mark, so you won't mess things up. Dispel. Got the leap mark. Dispel. And we go behind again. Dispel. As soon as you come uh, 
uh, to the open side behind the box. He puts the debuff on the tank so you, you, you know when it's coming. You can dispel it whenever you leave the box. You should be expecting that. Seems the warlock is stuck. So we're waiting. So there's two important casts that you can interrupt one in this pack. So you can focus one and interrupt them always. Gigawa loop, that's the cast you can you can interrupt. <coughs> there's nothing much here. You can use your cap totem to stop the rabbit that comes and explodes at your feet from running and that's all so these mobs uh, put a debuff on your teammates that must be dispelled and if they can use immunities or removing uh, dust from themselves that uh, that's a big help to you so whenever they start channeling shortcut you gotta start healing efficiently and use your CDs that channeling spells is uh, so dangerous in higher keys so you gotta start precasting your healing spells So you know what to do with the big guy but there's a trick here uh, if you're a ranged player you can stand here and you won't get any of those kind of electric pulses see you get no damage You gotta pass from the right side. So there's a mob in this pack that puts a barrier on the ground and helps your teammates if they stand uh, within its size uh, while the big guy is channeling uh, the smash thingy but you can also just heal everything if you don't need to do that
and we're losting this boss this is the hardest boss in this dungeon so you gotta nuke him and once you see the cannon you must focus killing it and you can also use your stuns and including your uh, cap totem to stop its channeling cast if you save your spirit walker's grace on this boss it's a big help to you cause as a rest of shaman you're just moving and healing everyone during its phases that's all you need to do on this boss is just dodging and constant healing and use your cap totem once you can see the cannon that's it and as soon as you kill the cannon um, these uh, yeah these show up uh, I took the damage but I used my defensive so there's nothing to worry about if you take one of these just don't panic and try to check what you have in your CD toolkits so you can trade some CDs to still stay alive Dispelling Warlock uh, That happens whenever uh, someone takes the electric kind of thingy from the sky that hits the ground and if you stand on it you get that debuff and I think it stuns you or puts you to sleep I guess if you don't dispel him so these two just cast a frontal spell you gotta dodge that and there's nothing else to worry if you get hit by that uh, you get silence for 4 seconds or so I believe and you take both you die instantly So we we're planning to skip the last pack using Warlock Gate, but it it's a bit risky. Sometimes it doesn't work, and someone might pull the pack. So I save my uh, Ankh to uh, release myself there and risk everyone. We can also use the Warlock Soul Stone to do that. So you can stand uh, in these uh, yellow barriers to take less damage and make sure to kick the Giga Valoop cast. You should use some healing CDs right there but uh, if everyone is standing in these yellow barriers as you can see there is nothing to heal you just dispel the debuff and everything is good touch the shade on the ground dispelling my monk he already diffused so uh, if you got a monk in your uh, party you always gotta make sure to uh, check if he has his diffuse up or not because if he has his diffuse you can use his diffuse to deal extra damage with the debuff that is on him by reflecting the debuff on the enemy 
So that means if they got defused, you gotta dispel someone else if you got two debuffs. Short out. Dispelling. I'm checking if my uh, reincarnation is ready or not. So Warlock should cast a gate here, but we pulled and I'm just running upstairs so I can risk myself. We simply do a death run, <laughs> that's the name of the strategy and everything else is good. We're telling him to not to release, telling the warlock, because we all four are pre-made. And he's the one that is not speaking to us. This <laughs> this building tank. So you may uh face some mana issues on this boss. So you gotta play somehow safe. You gotta do uh, dodge these uh, orbs and watch out the way that they reposition. As you saw, if you take one, uh, you might die if this key was 22 or something. And whenever someone takes the big uh, laser thingy, you gotta heal them up. Dodge the cutting beam and you should be fine. If you get the Giga Zap, uh, stand in a position where you hurt nobody else, just yourself. So before going into the last phase, uh, you gotta make sure you have at least 75% mana. And I'm using my mana tight totem here to have 100% mana. Because I'll get a stun once his boss uh, is dead, as you can see. I'm stunned for 7 seconds, so I can't use any mana pot, uh, pots or my mana totem. So I pre-use that. And we're missing lost here. Watch out. We gotta heal. Uh, these dots, they can't be dispelled. You just gotta use healing CDs or... If you've got a cloud burst, you can heal these easily without using any CDs. So there's a magnet here. You gotta run and if you've got Spirit Walker's Grace, that's a big help to you. Or you can use any of your CDs. I decided to use my Ascendance because I was out of uh, the Spirit Walker CD. If you have that and a charge of Cloud Burst Totem, there's nothing to worry about. Just use both and start healing efficiently. And no one dies. Dodge the orbs. You better not line up with the other teammates. Killing my tank. So Warlock died here because he didn't dodge the orb. And we got another magnet here. Used my uh, walking CD to heal him up. I'm telling him to run away, don't stand on my sides. So, they died here, but Tank and I, 
We'll kill the boss. I already see Art, my hunter. And the uh, Warlock uh, reminded me to use Bloodlust and our tank uh, and our hunter just died again. It's Omega fine, we can kill the boss easily. And our timer is fine, so there's nothing to worry about. Once the boss is dead, King Mechagon comes out. And he does actually nothing. <laughs> he ain't got any mechanic or something. So you just kill him like a dummy. And there we go. So that was the Mechagon Workshop 20 plus on Fortified. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, sorry if I'm not fluent enough. I'm using these videos to become more fluent in speaking English. And thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you guys had a great time and we'll catch you in the next one.